Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Control's Expansion, The Foundation, where um, we have one more site to reach in order to fix the nail, which is way down in Research Site Gamma. Now, there's a couple ways I could do this. I could just fast travel to that waypoint over there, but there's also a path to the right in the Cave Bleed, which I haven't been to. And now that I have all the, uh, I have all the movement, uh, options, and that's, that's kind of like the way that I'm looking at the, the gun and the superpower in this area. For one, they're limited to this area. Um, I can only use the gun in areas that have the crystal deformation. Um, and I can only use the... Oh my gosh, that is a lot of light. I can only use the, uh... Oh, shh. What was I saying about light? Um, I can only use the, uh... Crystal Restorer. Is that where... Can I actually... Um... Oh, there's a bag up. Uh, in place in this area as well. Did he just jump to his death? I think he just jumped to his death. Ah. Ah. I was not expecting to be exploded so quickly and died. Um, but that seems to be the theme of this whole <laughs> expansion playthrough is I seem to start every single one of these uh, videos with my own death. Because your character is very much a glass cannon. Um, what was I saying? Superpower. Gun. Localized to this area. So yeah, um, they're very specific to things only in the Foundation. Hmm... Which is a little bit too bad. It means that essentially, um, you're given these abilities that you cannot transfer anywhere else in the game. It makes sense from a game development standpoint to be like, hey, we're going to give you some stuff, um, that we haven't used anywhere in the game. That way you could be like, okay, I'm at least doing new things. I'm just gonna see if I can run right by these guys. See if, uh... They don't mind. Also, how do I actually get up there? Um, maybe it's an uh, alternate path through the uh, cave system. In which case, I suppose I don't even need to go through this area and my time attempting to get to this unknown section of cave is slightly wasted. Um, but that's okay. I can use this as a opportunity to talk about abilities and superpowers. Oh no, it's the bad guys. Who would have expected them? Um, but yeah, it's uh, like the main game is what it is. Oh, hello. Let's deal with these guys, I suppose. And now that I have my ability to, uh... Oh, hello. Let's, uh, let's bring him to our cause. Um... Oh, I'm out of, uh... Damn these guys. Actually, hold on. Let, let's see if I can just uh, sprint away. Um, then this will eventually turn left, it looks like. Um, 
Like, the main game is complete. It is full. Um, but it also has a very specific manner in which you progress through the game. Um, it has a very specific manner of abilities. Now, let's say they wanted to add abilities to the game. <laughs> if they wanted to add abilities to the game. Ultimately, like, if they were just focusing on the main game, let's say there wasn't no, any additional area to explore, and it was just going to be the, uh, the FPC building, the, they're just going to use the same maps that are available. If that was the case, then whatever abilities they have would have to be uh, interactive within the FBC building. Um, what do I have too much of? Weapon mods. Um, hmm. Let's clear out some of these weapon mods. Uh, and destroy everything that is level 3 or less. So everything is going to have to be built off of um, what works in the game. Um, now, let you couldn't necessarily add uh, movement abilities. Because if you start adding movement abilities, then you start having to add uh, places restricted by said movement. Um... Or you start also having to add areas of this, uh, areas of the crystal to the main game, uh, in order to use said movement abilities, uh, which is problematic because one, you're now having to redo previous, uh, previous gameplay design, and two, uh, more bad guys. Aside from also balancing issues, yeah, uh, not only do you have to redesign maps to also now include uh, the like the recipient points of these new abilities, uh, you you also have to kind of design the maps around those abilities. You have to add more to what already exists, um, and that's and that's more problematic. By, by giving you this, uh, this gun, which breaks down crystal, and this special ability, which builds up crystal... <laughs> um, it means that essentially, like, the game can... Oh, hello. That guy wanted to, uh... Oh. How rude of you. Make a friend. Does that guy got combos? Um, it means that essentially they can give you these new abilities um, to take advantage of whatever gameplay situation they want to offer you. How rude of you to just... I'm just gonna take control of him. Uh, end the fight real quick, like... Um, they can give you these uh, gameplay abilities without necessarily uh, having to worry about whether or not it fits in with the rest of the game. Um, uh, okay, so I am heading in the right direction. Um, but I didn't have the right, uh, entry point in mind. There we go. Which? Oh, hello. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? Huh. So she was the one that damaged the nail in order to his stop the hiss from taking the over. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. 
I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. Is Marshall going to be the final boss of this area? Like a twisted version of Marshall? Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Especially since now that she's blown it up, it's kind of created a Those years spent in the astral bleed. Warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. Actually, uh, in the end, he succumbed to the hiss, but... The hiss can corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. Huh. So is she dead? Ah! Astral Spike! I can't actually destroy these things. Are these multiple Astral Spikes? I believe there were multiple. Ah! Uh, inconvenient combat. Oh, you. Who taught you how to dodge? I didn't. Ah, <laughs> take that. All right, I guess this guy, oh, hello. All right, let's get out of here. Now is the astral spike actually eating at the, uh, I think the astral spike is actually eating at the piss too. Interesting. Ah. I should really capture this guy, yep. That way I've got an eye in the sky. Ah, that's very rude of you, sir. All right. <laughs> and escape is mine. All right, um, so now we're making our way through this cave system. Huh. Is it just me or does this, uh, this set of, uh, ledges seem very familiar? Especially in comparison to, um, the, what's it called? The firewall? And we have a control point over here, which would be very convenient in regards to getting around. Also, I just noticed the sh like kind of like the basic drawing in the sand. Like it was it was Theodore Ash who apparently figured out the control points, which w I would imagine it makes for an interesting blend of um, science and magic. Alright. Especially considering the fact that... Or science and the occult. Especially considering the fact that I'm going in to perform a ritual. Of all things. Director Faden here. Send backup to my location. How is backup getting here? Through what... How did you get here? I mean, I'm not gonna deny your presence, but still. 
All right. All right, where are the... Oh, hello. Let's go after the... Uh, healing orb real quick, like. And also take control of it, because then it heals me. Um, where are bad guys? Let's get rid of explosive rock. And this guy, who I can very vaguely see in the shadows. Oh, hello. How are you guys? Luckily, the orb is there to heal me, but still, there are plenty of... I think it's actually called... Is it called source material? Is it called elements? I'll, n I'll never figure out what some of these uh, terms are in this game. Yeah. Let's clear him out. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> I just grabbed him. Excellent. Because he was low enough on health. Um, somebody else is here? Ah, oh my gosh. I got hit by a whole bunch of stuff. What did I get hit by? I got hit by a geyser. That's what hit me. But that is fine because it happened right at the end of the fight. Um, is the ranger still alive? The ranger is still alive. Good job, sir. You know, I would have to I would have to hand it to these regular people. Like they don't have superpowers. They don't have the ability to just fly around. And they're fighting alongside Jesse and still expecting to succeed. Oh my gosh. Ah. All right. I did take a whole bunch of damage, that is fine. But I got this incredibly necessary energy renewal mod. Which I'm totally gonna look at later. And reload efficiency. There we go. Let's see if there's, um, are they called source bits? It's just been so long. Uh, since they bothered with the names for things. Ah, there it is. Good old health regeneration. Um, I could I could cap myself off. I can I can spend a second to Ooh, a jukebox token. I'm not gonna go use the jukebox anymore. Maybe not. Maybe the more powerful I get, the more willing I'll be to use the jukebox again. And I think that might have been my issue in regards to uh getting that far in the expeditions is I wasn't quite leveled up. I mean, my abilities still aren't quite maxed out. Like, it, it might be half me just not being good enough at the game, and then the other half uh, being not powerful enough. But here we have it. All right. This is the last one. I believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Ray? Get her? Huh. Nope. There we go. All right, now let's circle around this side. I have a feeling I, I know how this works. Yeah. 
Now then, the question is... Oh. Nope. Have I fully rebuilt it? Oh, there's still uh, this piece over here. Son of a... Is this also damaging the, uh... <sighs> Sir, can you please stop growing tendrils out of you? This is... Nope, that is... Not what I'm planning to do. Oh, you son of a... Ah. Son of a... Jeez. Is... How... Okay. No, don't float down. No, don't build bats. Finally, Jesus Christ. Huh. That was a heavy mess of a balance. Fuck. But that's the last one. I fixed it, didn't I? Nail, leave, end. Oh. Uh. Where am I going? Oh, hello. Yeah. It's never quite so simple. Like, have I destroyed the astral plane? Have I... Um. Oh, hello. I've found an exit. What the hell was all that? I don't know. Be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. I hope, yeah. You know, a lot of responsibility is put on Emily. Especially considering the fact that she more or less uh, assumed the position after her various, uh, after her darling just disappeared. The Pyramid. Alright, let's head, um... Ah, uh, now I'm headed... I thought this was an entrance. It is, in fact, an exit. Alright, let's, uh, let's go on and talk to Emily, see what's going on next. Um, and that is just going to be through here to the crossroads. Also, I suppose this essentially means, no, I will not do you containment major targets. This means that I might see the... 
Yeah, and now the pier the nail has this upside down pyramid uh, cleaved into the the uh, top. Has it always had that? Have I just not looked close enough? All right, let's uh, spend some ability points on abilities I don't need. As you can see, how little uh, emphasis I've even bothered putting into uh, melee. But I'm just gonna upgrade my shield strength. Ooh, energy will recover while shield is active. Clearly I need to be saving up for that. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Like it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. I figured as much. Containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way. Right now, both dimensions are like I was thinking it was an extension of the astral plane, or at the very least, kind of like a way for the board. Is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. So the solution. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. Uh, I don't think it would have been that simple. I don't think either of these solutions. The plane would still be leaking in. Thank you, thanks, Emily. Right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. Um, I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. Emily, I agree completely. From directly below us, but we don't know what. Perfect. Perfect. I'll just go directly below us. <laughs> do what you can from here, Jesse. You can't just. I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. I. I would imagine that single-minded, uh, bullheadedness. Also, wasn't there a path down here? Is this where I'm going now? Ah, uh, it looks like it is. Or I'm just wasting time. There is a possibility I might just be wasting time. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Alright, let's start with the nail. And then go from there. See what we're missing. Because I had assumed it would just be go down to the said lowest point. If it isn't my favorite director, I hope I know what I'm doing. Oh, never mind. There was a big hole that emerged. Well. I hope you know what you're doing. just top of the nail how much deeper does the foundation go so deep you don't even want to know how deep it goes hmm it makes me kind of wonder whether the crystals are separate from the foundation the are growing like crazy here it's almost like they're trying to stop me huh Yeah, damn it. There we go. Ah, I got grazed. That's fine. Yeah. It does. Oh. Uh... 
Marshall blew up the nail. The board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Nope. Which makes me think that this is the like. <sighs> I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but or maybe that's the reason why the foundation was kept separate by the director so after the board took over. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. And then also the if... Then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Yeah, until the next Jesse thing. has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. Ah. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more of that vibe that the boss of this area is going to be a corrupted uh, marshal, especially considering the fact that uh, her HRA was damaged. Bam. Bam. There we go. Not quite as perfect of a diagonal as I might have liked. But also, consider the fact that this is an unmapped area. If it's an unmapped area, and it's going to remain unmapped... Then that means that uh, it's going to likely be very linear in, in its design. Hmm. Yeah. I was going to say extreme danger ahead, but we also have a control point. And we have a uh, reinforcement request, I think. Nobody else hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. Is the board the parasite? Is the... Between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id... Or, and is the former the house? ...thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back in the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. Hmm. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. All right. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. Why am I only asking for one Let's ranger? Can't I ask for more rangers? I'm the director. Like, if I walked in here with, like, a dozen rangers, some of them would die. Maybe all of them. Ah, uh, it's Marshall. Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but... Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. Yeah. You fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this. You always been with you. You 
Marshall, where did you go? The whole area is red. Ranger dude, where are you firing? Oh. Who taught you how to dodge? Was it the hiss? Let us get some healing up. Ah, that is inconvenient. Can control the exploding people? Ah! Oh my gosh. Yep, let's let's actually control the exploding person. Ah, where That's what you get oh. I also don't have much health, which is unfortunate. There we go. I got health back and a jukebox token. No! Not my ranger. Alright. I'll control you. Go after Marshall. That'll be very kind. Do I have two deployed rangers? I think I do. Wow, this is quite the gunfight. Oh my gosh. Probably shouldn't be destroying the bridges that I'm walking on. I know, so inconvenient. Ah, uh, son of a... Son of a... How many of you guys are... Nope, that's just Marshall again. Let's try to get some health. Nope, let's not get stuck on a platform. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's bring you back. Uh, let's have you join my cause. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where is their health? Where is their health? Where on earth is health? There we go. Whew. Okay, so that is Marshall essentially uh, exploding with the... Exploding with uh, grenades everywhere.
Let's get out of here. Ah, all right. Oh my gosh. The news was corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. It would have been nice if Marshall actually house. told us what she was trying to do. Whew. We are cleansed, liberated, hallelujah. The foundation is stable, beaten, A-OK. -okay. We hope you will improve your attitude slash loyalty. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm onto them. Not yet, anyway. They don't need to know that I don't like them very much. Also, like... This incredible amount of darkness on the floor just makes me feel like there's a big old pit there. Just a big old pit for me to fall into. And I don't like to fall into big old pits. It sounds like a good time. But it's not. Alright, let's head back to the crossroads. I think I might have actually finished, uh... The foundation. Um... But let us... Oh my gosh. If I could figure out which... <laughs> which cave leads back. Then I'll... It's like, oh, what prevented you from uh, beating this area? I just couldn't figure out the way back. Oh. Where is the way? Can I... Is there a control point here that I'm ignoring? Or is this the way I came? Or is this a way? Not necessarily the way I came. Also, uh, to those rangers who died in service of the FBC, we salute you for your bravery. Oh. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. I feel like a lot of this game is just plugging up leaks. She's gone. The water's still in the basement, but the leak has uh, leaks have all uh, have all stopped. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. This is a very Alan Wake camera angle. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? All right. Well, I guess that was the foundation. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, more control is good control in my book. Uh, I suppose now I just play the waiting game for, uh, the second DLC, AWE, to come out. Um, but it was an interesting addition to the, uh, to the game, both in lore I know I, I know and in gameplay. Things, now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. I'm pretty sure nothing's particularly simple in this for the Bureau. world. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are, I need to lead my way. Excellent plan. Uh, let's get our uh, health back and also let us... Um, it's going to do us no good for the Foundation. Because I've already finished the game. Or uh, finished the DLC. But now, when I've got shields up, it restores energy. Actually, hold on. Hmm. 
Emily, do you have any parting words? Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Did it find anything? Anything unusual? Define unusual. Def just As anything at all. Has it been vibrating, sorry. shifting, the moving? It's a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Huh. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. So you're s Wait, saying you probably shouldn't stay down the here. created when I cleanse the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the Hiss corrupt the nail? Did they want huh. me to cleanse it? If so, why? What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before we found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. That sounds like an excellent manner to choosing new directors, but really picking up a gun that might kill you, that's a better choice. Well, we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that... Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Imagine no. a giant space Imagine alien. A yep. Bug thing. Has a big... I Spotlight as its eye. Something happened, and now it's separate. Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet. But and I think I that kind of leads to some int the interesting thing about control. Theory is the main Four game of control ends with a lot of loose Do threads. It. Like you end up I'm going to keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. Yeah, I would say that Emily Pope is like one of the most qualified individuals in this building. Um but yeah, like uh, at the end of the main game, there were so many threads left loose. Um, and this, uh, DLC, it only adds another thread that is still left open. There's still, I think, a couple more things I could do in this, uh, DLC. I think there, uh, I looked up, apparently there is, uh, the, like, the fortune cat, the lucky cat thing does exist as a thing to discover in this universe. But I'm not gonna worry about that, because that's more of a collection quest where you have to do very specific things to make very specific things happen. Um, and I've got what I wanted from it, which is more story, more lore. Um, we'll see how the uh, AWE DLC affects that, whether that adds more threads, uh, more loose ends. In the meantime, though, uh, we got more Red Dead 2 coming up tomorrow. Uh, and the day after, more Doom Eternal, Wednesday and Thursday, more Truck Dinosaur Hunter on Friday. Something new is going to be starting next weekend. If you've got any suggestions for something to play next, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.